in this playwright tutorial we are going to see how to generate earlier report in playwright automation tool so you need to follow just five steps by following five steps you will be able to generate the earlier report in playwright automation framework so i have listed all these five steps in the my github repository also so you can go to the playwright tutorial full course and if you scroll down here in this repository so you will find the readme file and here i have mentioned how to generate earlier report with playwright automation tool so let's see one by one what are the steps you need to follow to generate the earlier report in playwright the very first step is we need to install the one plugin called earlier report command line so so in my case i have already installed it these two plugins and the second plugin you need to install that is the allure playwright adapter so you can go to the command prompt and simply firstly you can install the npm install hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev and after that allure hyphen command line so this is the very first package or the plugin you need to install it and second plugin is npm install hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev allure hyphen playwright so after installing these two packages so we need to go to the playwright configuration file so step one and step two is all about the packages installations which are which are related to the early report generation now we need to go to the one file called playwright.config.js file so that is where we have to add the both the reporting so we want to generate the early report and also we want to generate the playwright test report so that's the reason so here i'm adding firstly html it is for generating the playwright test report and second one is for the generating the early report so let's add the this particular configuration in the playwright configuration file so here i will go to the vs code and i will open the playwright configuration file and if you look at the line number 24 so this is where we have to add the reporter and inside the reporter we have to pass html first parameter and second parameter is earlier hyphen playwright so that's it so that is the basic setup you need to do to generate the earlier report in playwright automation tool so let me summarize what exactly this configuration file contains so in my case i have done some modifications if you look at the line number 11 and 12 so we are setting the test execution time as uh, five minutes and after that we have enabled the parallel testing by passing the fully parallel parallel value as true and also if you look at the line number 22 so here i'm passing the five so in our case we want to run the five automation test at the same time that means it is going to launch the five browsers at the same time and then so it is very important part so you need to add the reporter and respective values also and then to add the screenshot and video and also we need to add the trace information so if you want to add all these three information so you need to pass the appropriate value to the video screenshot and traces so basically if you are not adding the proper value here or enabling the video screenshot or trace so this information will be not attached to the earlier report so if you look at the value here guys so you can pass the on on first retry retain on failure so you can pass any of any of the these three values but if you are passing off so you will be not able to see the video is added into the earlier report so in my case simply i'm passing the value as on for the video screenshot and trace information because in my case i want to add all the three information into the earlier report so if you don't want to attach into the earlier report simply you can comment that particular parameter in this particular configuration file so that's a bit about the playwright configuration file now let's look at the next step now simply we have to run the playwright automation test and after that we have to run one of the command by using that we can generate the 
earlier report. So before that, we have to generate the, sorry, we have to run the playwright automation test. So here I will go to the VS code and inside the tests folder. So here I'm referring a one spec file called group.spec.js. So in this spec file, so I have two groups. First one is smoke testing, which contains two automation tests. And I have the second group called sanity testing. So this contains the three automation tests. And if you look at the test five, so our first four tests will get passed, but I'm intentionally failing the test five. If you look at the line number 163, so here I'm passing incorrect expected value. So that's the reason test five will get fail. So that is the expected result. Now we have the spec file ready. Now let's execute the this particular spec file. So here I will open the terminal and simply I will run the this spec file by using npx playwright and followed by that test. And after that, I will pass the spec file name. So that's it. So if you look at here, so it is running with the five workers. That means five browsers are opening at the same time. That means five automation tests are getting executed at the same time. So that particular value we have added in the playwright configuration file. So currently test execution is going on. Once the execution is completed, so automatically playwright test report will be opened. And if you see here, so already report got opened. Before that, I will show you the VS code results. So one is one test got failed. That is the expected failure and four tests are passed. So now let's look at the playwright test report before we generate the allure test report. And if you see here guys, so total test is five and out of them is four are passed and one got failed. And if I go to the fail test, so here I'm firstly seeing the error information and after that steps are there. So where exactly our test got failed, you can check it here. And here we have the screenshot and we have the traces information and then at the end, you can see the video section. So it has recorded the test execution. Now let's generate the Allure report. So simply I will press the control C and here I'll say yes. That's it. Now simply I will go to the my GitHub repository and I will copy the command. So you need to use the command called npx Allure serve Allure hyphen results. So simply you need to use this particular command by using this one, we can generate the earlier report. So here I will enter the command and it started generating the earlier report. And if you see here, already earlier report got opened. And if you see, see the overview of the this test report, so we have the total automation test is five and out of, out of them, so four are passed and one is failed. And here also you can see that. So total test. So currently we have only one, one suit is available. Sorry. So total number of suits are one. And here you can see that how many within this particular suit, how many are passed and how many are failed. So here I will go to the suits section. And here you can see that in which browser our automation tests are got executed. And also you can see the spec file name. And followed by that, you can see the two section. Because as I said, we have two groups. One is sanity testing and second one is smoke testing. And if you expand that, so you will be seeing the details of details of the automation test. So simply you can select any test on the right side. So you will be able to see the details of the automation test. What are the steps it has and where exactly failed. If you look at the test five. So here you can see that where exactly our test got failed. And also you can see the screenshot also. So you can simply click on this particular screenshot. You can view the screenshot by you by seeing this particular screen, screenshot. Also, you can identify the 
what is the issue with the web application or it can be script also sometimes so you can view the screenshot in the below of the all the steps and if you come down so here you can find the video also so you can basically so this is the test execution recorded video if you see here so what happened in this particular test execution during this test execution so all the details you can check out here by seeing the recorded test execution video and also you can find the trace information so simply you can click on this one so you can download the traces information and you can verify all the information how we have done it in the previous tutorial and also you can find the std out statements so in our case we are not printing much in the output so that's the reason you are seeing only one statement here and so right now only two groups are there guys so you can try to add multiple groups and also you can try to add the multiple spec files and you can generate the earlier report and if you face any issues just you can comment in the comment section i will be responding to the your comments immediately so this is all i'm having for the how to generate earlier report in playwright automation tool 